shouldn't be coming after me, strangers. My father's the real monster. At least I'm wrong in the obvious places. You can trust my kind of crazy.
tree. Eston Ward. What in blazes did they do to him? Walkers, can we help? Walkers, can we help? Healing vapors can dream.
Jesus. Everyone calm down. This childish hysteria is beneath you. You're members of the Hundred Families for God's sake. Act like it. These are bandit scum. Nothing more. I don't know how they managed to get up here, but there's no chance they'll make it inside. We're protected by the best guards money can buy. Don't worry. That... that was one of ours. Bandits don't carry rocket launchers. No... You're the Rangers! I knew you'd be coming to save us. I never gave up hope. As you can see, Rangers, I've been stabbed, just like the others. But I held on, played dead, and when none of them were looking, I swallowed the key, Rangers. Key to the treasury door, Rangers. Heavily armored, can't be breached. The treasure of the Hundred Families is safe as long as Llewellyn is around. Ugh. Maybe this is too much to ask, but do any of you happen to be a doctor? I'm not feeling so good. Right! I'll lay low. to see you again, Rangers. Apologies if I seem... Oh, feels much better, Rangers. Uh, well, maybe in a little bit. You, you... You did what, Rangers? Oh, I see, I see. You're just keeping the Hundred Family's treasure safe for them. Clever play, Rangers. Yes, Rangers. I'm part of the staff. Dozens of us work up here. Kept the place nice for the families. Vic killed the staff first. He was... brutal, but quick. Didn't think we'd be as much fun to torture, maybe.
was awesome! <laughs> Finally fucking made it, huh? Finally found the time? Assholes. Yeah, I guess the mission comes first. Fucking assholes. Uh, this shit's my fault, not yours. Couldn't keep my mouth shut. Never could stand bullies, and this place is fucking full of them. Anyway, you came for me, and I won't forget that. I guess you took out the guards. <laughs> Bastards ain't so tough now. Ah, hands off. I'm fine. Patriarch's wing. They dragged me in there a bunch of times for my hourly beatings. <laughs> I didn't mind much. It's better scenery. Gonna be hard for you to get inside. Heavy security door. Also, I'm pretty sure they're holding the leader of one of those ruling families in there, so, uh, take it slow and check your targets. I will, just, uh, gotta rest a little more. Okay, Pris. You can do this. There's no point in both of us dying. Just close your eyes and run. I can't do it, Violet! I really can't do that to my sister! You have to, Pris. Do it! No, wait! Who is that? You! You're not with them! Help us! Please! Vic Buchanan forced us to stand on pressure plates. If one of us steps off, it'll blow up the other! One of us has to make a run for it and kill the other. Eventually, we'll be too tired to stand and we'll both die. We can't even take a step. Ladies, it's me, Lucia, remember? We'll find a way to get you out of there, I promise. Lucy? But you look so, uh, cool. Look at her, Violet. She's got scars now. She's a proper wasteland warrior. Take a look at the electrical box! There must be something you can do there! Please hurry! That was amazing! You just reached in there and fixed stuff! Why didn't we just pull the wires coming from the box? Wouldn't be that easy, ladies. Stuff like that only works in stories. <sighs> oh, and, um, Lucia, I I'm sorry about Isaac. He's an idiot. I know. Uh, away, I suppose. We'll run back to Colorado Springs, if we have to. Our mother is here, too. She's in the Patriarch's wing with Victory. She's not pleasant, and she doesn't much care for us, but if you can, please help her.
Session 13, Jim and Nancy, March 21st, 1998. Nancy, last time you were talking about Jim's inadequacy. Hey, Rangers, this is Woodson. What's the status on the hostages? Let's see. So you located and secured all five hostages? Outstanding. Command is gonna love hearing all about this once we get back to the Ranger HQ. Heck, you might the less keep your success going. Go take care of business with Victory Buchanan. Nice sharp, Rangers. Strangers, you're gonna see some bad shit here. And honestly, it's not for everyone. I've cooked some of Daddy's friends, thrown them off things, tried peeling. Surrender, I guess. Good job at saving all those hostages. To be honest, I really didn't want to kill them. Like, not at all. Uh, in my defense, I told you it was Vic's orders. I didn't want to kill anyone. But I can help you now that you're here, right? I can give you the key to Vic's place. Okay. But you ain't allowed to kill me after. Or if you're gonna, you should give me a chance to run first. Fair's fair. I remember Victory's boys. This one's harmless compared to them. And he's nothing next to Vic himself. Wow, I was like mega sure I was dead there. You're good people. I mean that. Ow. Oh, um... I was supposed to check in with our guys and keep Vic informed about the prisoners. You know, let Vic know which torture methods were working well and which weren't.
yes, but that wasn't my fault. Vic told them to do it, and it's not like I could stop them if I wanted to. Um... Uh, not much, boss. I mean, the hostages were spread all over this place, and we dumped the people Vic killed in the storage room. Vic's in his dad's old suite. He's got some of his tougher friends in there. The ones who always pick on me, you know? As for your ranger friends, uh, let's see. Two of them were being tortured, but I don't know where Vic put them. You probably already saw the radio guy, uh, Woody or whatever. And the green chick is in the lab with Gift. That's the breather lady. Sure thing, boss. What do you want to know? Well, uh, he's pretty tough and good with bombs and guns. I've known him a long time and he ain't afraid of much, but... He does a lot of drugs. A ton of drugs. And he likes to lock himself up to be alone when he does. Like now? Oh, well, he wants to take over Colorado Springs. Everyone knows that. Ain't even a secret. He's gonna take his army, that's us, and the breathers, and we're gonna storm the walls, maybe attack it from within. It kinda depends on Vic's mood. Oh, yeah, or like blow up generators and attack the walls. I ain't sure. Like I said, Vic's still thinking things through. All the plans basically have us sabotaging stuff while the breathers take on the Patriarch's marshals, like as cannon fodder, you know? That way we don't get hurt. Oh, uh, I probably shouldn't have said that last part. It was told to me in confidence? Don't tell the breathers I said anything. Vic wants to use the breather gases on the people in Colorado Springs. Like to make them calm? Compliant? Vic's been having the guys run experiments on the, uh, the captives. And that's all, okay? That's all I know. Please keep all that to yourself. I don't want to get in trouble. You got it, boss. I'll just stay right here. from my people. Strangers, cover your ears. How the fuck are we supposed to take Colorado Springs if you can't handle a fan of waste trash? I'm fucking disappointed. I really am. I'm in a finger-taking mood, guy.
Gwendolyn Reed. She's head of the Reed family, 
and my ex-boyfriend's mother. She's terrible. To everyone. You're not one of Victory's thugs. They at least look dangerous. Ah. You're the rangers that Saul Buchanan sent for. Months ago, if I recall. Where are my daughters? Are they safe? Victory had me sitting here for days, threatening to fill those empty chairs with my headless daughters, while you frolicked in the snow. I will have words with Saul Buchanan about the punctuality of his servants. Make no mistake. Now go take care of his infantile son, if you can even manage that. What are you doing? We'll get you out of this, Mrs. Reed. I promise. As if your word means a stone nickel to me, Lucia West. Mrs. Reed didn't approve of Isaac and me. As if I wasn't good enough for her coward of a son. My younger brother. Victory Buchanan found it amusing to saw off my brother's head in front of me. He left the corpse to keep me company. And also, as he put it, in case I got very hungry. I have been sitting here motionless for days, you witless buffoons. Answering his questions, and denying any association with his lawless sister Liberty, who he is convinced is plotting his downfall. As if he needed any help. enough to get here. Rangers, let's not waste time talking. We should put this monster down. Play it safe, Rangers. We want him alive. Yeah, come on in. Let's have some fun, huh? Hey, hey, look who it is, Clarence. Daddy's Rangers. <laughs> In the flesh. The Rangers? I heard they were a bunch of little fucking chicken shits. Did you hear what happened to my little brother? Oh, <laughs> fucking hilarious. I know it was hard to get here, and no offense, but you can Fuck right off back to Colorado Springs and tell Daddy you failed. I like it here. You know, my friend Clarence here. What? You don't see him? Oh shit, am I seeing things again? Hold on. No, 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 no. You're, you're here, Clarence. Oof. Oh, gave me a scare there, chicken shits. <laughs> now, get the fuck out of here. You calling me names? Oh, in front of my best friend? <sighs> Gotta be honest with you, Rangers. You're not making the best first impression on us. <laughs> So why should we listen to you, huh?
Well, I'll have to give them a little pep talk about loyalty! Or take a shit in their oxygen tanks. Undecided. But I'm not worried. As long as I got my buddy Clarence here. Clarence? Clarence? Oh, no! Oh, Clarence! He was two days away from retirement! That's just me then, huh? Fine. You got me, Rangers. Now what? Oh, that it? Sure thing, officers. Oh, but hold on. Before you slap the cuffs on, I have a... Hmm, what's the word? A proposition for you. Don't lock me up. Take me with you. And I'll give you the VIP tour of Daddy's Kingdom. Everyone here knows me. Everyone's fucking terrified of me. And that means they'll be terrified of you. At least I tried. Take me away from all this, officer. Copy November 1, this is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. Hell yeah, November. I'll sleep much better at night knowing he's behind bars. Over and out. those names those those are the poor ladies who married the patriarch every last one of them dead can dream.
There you are, Rangers. Starting to wonder if Vic got you. Good to see you getting shit done, November. I'll radio HQ and get them to send us some transport. See you there. Yeah. Ditto. Before you head out, right. I have something to ask you. If I go back to Ranger HQ now, I'll probably end up in a room doing lab work. To be honest, I'm kind of tired of research. I'd rather take my chances out there with you. There are some things you just can't learn in the lab, you know? So, can I join your squad? Glad to join your team. calling Team November. Uh, got a lady here says she's a Desert Ranger, part of Angela Death's advance team, with an important message. Gonna hold her here till you get back. Copy. Affirmative, Rangers. And before I forget, the guys and gals in R&D have put together some new tech. You should head back to HQ and see for yourselves. Over and out. distinct radio chatter originating from somewhere close to your location. It's doing a hell of a job jamming up the airwaves. Sounds like some kind of code. It may just be some pre-war broadcast, but might be worth investigating. How do you copy? I can't lock down an exact spot, but it's definitely coming from somewhere up in the mountain range near your location. Let me know if you find anything. HQ, over now. 